Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. It's a very exciting day because I just got off a phone with U-Haul and I booked one of their large cargo vans for two weeks. So we're gonna start moving Lego today here in this video. Specifically, we're gonna start with the mezzanine space. That's gonna be where I'm gonna do most of my building. That's where I'm gonna put all of my parts, my computers. It's just gonna be like my little workshop. I wanna get that done first because I feel like it's gonna be easier to accomplish than say, all of the shelves that are full of Lego sets and the massive Lego city tables, which once again are full of like mills plates and Lego sets, etc. So I just feel like it's a better place to start because then I can get all my parts over there, I can get my workstations going, and it's just gonna feel like I can accomplish that pretty quickly. It's gonna be pretty cool. So the first thing I did was actually headed to my garage here where I got a bunch of spare stuff and I uh, pulled these uh, lemon tables. Got a whack of them. These are actually gonna host my new part system, which I hope to get set up today in this video. But how exciting is it that we are gonna go pick up the U-Haul tomorrow morning, and we're gonna have it for two weeks. I'm gonna be rolling in a U-Haul for two weeks, just transferring my gold like crazy from this place to that place. Now, originally I thought I was gonna do it in like one or two big loads, but I think just having the truck for two weeks and making smaller loads is gonna be more manageable. Plus, I think it's gonna to add to the story. I think it's pretty cool. Like just sort of doing things little by little is gonna be the way to do it rather than boom, all in one shot, just like have like a crazy hectic day. I think just, you know, having the flexibility of having the smaller truck for a longer period of time, I think is definitely the way to go. But yeah, I got these tables ready to go for the morning and the next thing I've got to do is actually head downstairs and bring all my parts into the garage so that when I get the U-Haul here tomorrow I can very easily transfer them into the back of the truck and we can make and we can make our way to the studio. I've said it before and I'll say it again the more times that I come down here I realize that I have sort of built myself into a corner a lot of people told me that that would happen and I was like no that's not gonna happen and here I am thinking to myself, like, holy cow, what have I done? I've really neglected this place over the last month and a half. I've just been piling stuff down here. So the first thing I wanna move is these uh, parts, these big towers of parts. In order to do that, I've gotta move all of these sets off the top of them, and then I should be able to move these. I don't know if I'll be able to move them as individual units. Luckily, they are modular, so I can like split them in half. Before I move those, though, <laughs> I think I should use my uh, brain here and be like, okay, I think this Eiffel Tower has got to get out of the way. Maybe I'll like slide that into the corner or something. Like it's, it's got to move because I don't want to kick that thing on the way up the stairs. That would suck. And also thinking about it a little further as well, I should probably move all of this art because I could see myself like bumping into the art as, my, as I make my way up the stairs with all of these huge items. Oh my gosh, here it is everybody. It's the first clips of moving the Lego to the new studio. First thing I've got to do is move those epic sets off the top of the parts. They actually just sat on this 16 inch shelf which fits perfectly on top of those stair light bins. I pop that down on the carpet and I connect it to the shelf that is actually sitting on the bottom of the stair light bins as well just so they sit level and then i'm able to just slide them out of place it's a lot easier than carrying them and a lot easier than trying to slide those on the carpet so i've got all the part bins moved to the base of the stairs here and we are splitting them into two so they're 18 units tall so nine units per they've got one top one bottom and then we're going to do that with all of the rest of them so they're just all sort of lined up here ready to go and jose is working on splitting them and labeling them look at all those command strips <laughs> all of my art was hung with uh, command strips believe it or not it held unless i like accidentally like bumped into it i think i sent one crashing to the floor once but for the most part they did well and i actually plan to use them in the new place as well. So you've got a whole bunch of stuff in the garage. I'll show you all that. But first off, take a look down here. It already feels more spacious without those cabinets right there because we have the Aket cabinets right there and the Alex drawer units there with all the spare pieces. And then of course, all of these are gone as well. There's one more thing that I wanna bring out there and that's this, but in order to bring it out there, I've gotta like empty everything out, everything out of it just because it's so heavy. I also wanna bring all these parts I brought all the unsorted stuff here, but there's all the stuff that's sorted there, like train track and extra stuff. But 
I think we've already got a van load, that's for sure. My garage is absolutely loaded, Tico. I tell you, it is loaded, man. We had the garage door open while bringing all the stuff into the garage, and look at the cat. She's on top of the car. Oh my gosh, Luna's been having an absolute blast in here. Like, what are you doing up there? And here's the garage. Wow, so we've got all the stacks of parts right there. And my plan is to put those on top of Lindman tables. And luckily I kept the lids, so they're nine drawers tall, and then the Lindman table is about that same height, so they're gonna be the same height as what they were before. We got all the Alex units right here, all the unsorted Lego, and then all of the stuff that was in the Alex units, which is more sorted Lego, is in these two bins. Two bins loaded to the nines. I've also started moving some of the packing supplies over here because that all is gonna go to the new place as well. Oh yeah, then we have all the art as well and I actually plan on using the art to fill all the nooks and crannies on the sides and on the tops. So I'm just gonna like sandwich the art everywhere just so we can maximize the amount of stuff that we bring over in each load. So is this bad boy gonna give us enough space here? I think so. Just gotta make sure not to dent it, cause I will pay. Oh yeah, it can fit lots of stuff. We got the Alex units, the small tables, the large tables, a bunch of shipping boxes that have been wedged in there to secure the load. Open up the side door and you can see there's all the Lego parts. Like all the bins are in there. There's the tables, some bubble wrap to wedge the load, a big box of mailers to wedge the load. And then there's uh, some of the unsorted parts floating around on top there too. And Mrs. Brixie's coming with me as well. So in the back of this car, we've got the Lego art. Didn't want to put it in there in the end. Then we also have some of the smaller parts. So these, I really don't want them to like pour all over the place. That's all the Lego connectors. Spent so long sorting those. And then we got some more bubble wrap, more art, and uh, one of the last Alex units as well. This is the hardest coffee she's ever had to make. Where's the extension cord? Where's the mugs? There's no mugs. We've got to use this big water bottle. I'm I've got to hold the this. water bottle. I'm too short. I can't press the button. It's not on. Did you did you turn the power bar on? Did you plug it in? Is, is I didn't the, turn it on. Is the power bar on? It's not on. <laughs> it's an all out struggle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there we go. Now you can turn it on. <laughs> It's the hardest coffee she's ever made, but hey, check it out. We uh, got the computer fired up. We're about to turn on some music here. Got the first Alex unit brought up. I just set up the time-lapse camera, and then we unloaded the entire van. So all that stuff is ready to be hauled up the stairs. Uh, Mrs. Brixie brought in all the boxes and packing supplies and uh, the art, and I just offloaded all this stuff at the back door here. We got... Uh, the Alex units, you got all the parts, the unsorted stuff, the tables. And just imagine how good it's going to look up there when we get all this stuff set up right now. Got to limber up, get ready for the big move here. My goodness, it's going to be a long couple weeks, but I'm glad that we started with the parts. These are like sort of one of the heavier things in the Lego room, actually. So bring up all those Alex units and then all of the part bins. Things are going quite smoothly. We're lining them up in a big line and I'm on the last bin. And I bring up the last bin and I uh, dump it on the floor. Whoops, now I'm going to set up some of these tables. These tables used to host the LEGO City. They're the uh, IKEA Lindman tables. And then I'm using some of those Alex units as legs. And then I'm popping some legs on as well. Now the parts are going to sit right on top of those. And I think that's awesome. And look how good that looks. Originally I thought the parts were going to go on the left or right wall, but I think it's actually best to put them on the back wall because that's where we have the most space. After that, I'm going to pop some more legs on some tables and move my computer. Off to a pretty fantastic start here in the studio. Holy cow, man. I can't believe how good those parts look spanning along the back wall there. It's wild. There's so much room. It's, <laughs> it's just a, a breath of fresh air. Working in here with two people is going to be the dream. Like, look at all this open space. So I'm not sure what the exact layout is going to be. I moved my computer from over there to over here because I still want to bring in a couch and also a cabinet for the TV. And I don't know where that couch is going to go. Originally, I was thinking maybe the couch would go like here and the TV would be there. I'd have to black out the window because that'd be just... <laughs> terrible for glare. Maybe the couch could go there and the TV could be on that wall. That might look pretty sweet. Then we can put some more cabinetry and stuff over here. Or maybe like an armchair or something. Also looking at the TV. 
Uh, as or in regards to the computer, I'm not too sure if it's going to stay there or not. I only have two more legs, so I can't really do much else. I think tables will probably just span this whole wall, and then I'll, I'll center the computer. That probably makes more sense. I've got to stop off and get another uh, three-prong extension cord. I actually like the fact that there's the conduits running along because I can run wires around the conduits and zip tie them, so it's going to be good for cable management. That's great. And then uh, Jose actually was working on our little kitchenette area over here. So we put the uh, aket units that used to have some of our overflow parts over here, and this is just part of the, the kitchenette area, so we got a pretty big pantry there. Also, we swapped up the position of the fridge and the water jug, so we put the fridge and the water jug over here because that sort of just blocks off all this ugly stuff. So now we've got the microwave, the coffee machine, the toaster, the pantry, the water jug, and the fridge eventually we're gonna have a couch a tv with all the parts and then the computers over there and then we have this whole center area right here for like more tables uh more workstations whatever it may be we also put some of the unsorted parts on these cabinets or shelves right here so yeah it's off to a great start but mrs brixey and i have got to run for right now because we're actually going to uh, our first ever swimming lesson that's right i'm gonna learn how to swim no, I'm just kidding. We're taking the kids to their first ever swimming lesson, so that sort of breaks up the day here, which is pretty cool. We're going to go have some fun with them, and then I'll be back, and we'll continue working up there. We got a couple swimming machines. Look at these little Ewoks. Whee! Come on, Betty. And now we're going to head back. I've got a new policy. Nobody comes to the studio unless their vehicle is packed. So I threw all the bubble wrap in here. I've got some shelves in here, some more legs. And also, some coffee bugs. And there we have it, another successful load. Start hauling all that stuff upstairs. I've got this desk that's a little bit wider and I think it's gonna make more sense to have my computer on there, so I switch that up. And I think my desk is gonna go on that wall over there. I used to have these lac tables set up as a UCS display. I like stack three of them on top, so I decided to bring those in as well. I'm also gonna build these black plastic shelves. They're sort of ugly, they're not gonna stay here forever, I don't think, but I need some more storage up here specifically for all my sealed sets, and I think those are gonna work out perfect because those actually used to host all the sealed sets underneath the LEGO City. I'm seriously like on cloud nine, everybody. This place is just incredible. Oh my gosh, it's like so like big. I, I just can't even begin to explain how much like room is up here. This is so awesome. We were so claustrophobic in that space down there. But now we just have like unlimited room. It is awesome. Oh, so there's a, a few things that I need to uh, try and improve on up here. First off, the Alex units. I've got three of them on the span. And my goal is to maybe one day have that solid Alex units. It might be a bit overkill, but could you imagine if it was just all of those white drawers all the way along? The problem is, is those are like 100 bucks each, and they're sort of a pain to put together. But maybe one day I'll make that upgrade. I still have all the uh, parts that were in those drawers just in these totes. I haven't had a chance to go through and put them in there. Although I probably should because I'm probably going to need those totes for tomorrow, so maybe I should do that. Uh, I can just dump the bags onto the ground and deal with it tomorrow, I guess. Because tomorrow I'm actually going to start moving uh, sets in here. Not the built sets, but the sealed sets. And I'm going to put the sealed sets, like I mentioned, on those two shelves. I just think it's pretty cool to have up here, and I don't really know where else I would put them. So I think that's a good spot for them. And there's still all this space right here, too, that I need to figure out that, what I'm going to do with. And I put the uh, TV on those three little cabinets right there in the corner. It might be pretty cool just to put like a couch right there. So yeah, just a couch and you can watch TV. Or maybe what I can do is move these down further and then put the TV in front of the window and then put the couch there. I don't know. I still haven't decided what we're going to do yet. I think it's going to require the couch to be here before I can actually wrap my head around what I'm going to do there. And then I also need to decide what I'm going to do on top of the parts. As we have all that space, what I could do is get some more of those 16 inch shelves I used to top the parts with, and then we can make this solid up here, and then we can just put things up there, whether it be sets, maybe sealed sets, maybe my building backlog. Hey, that would be cool, like all the sets that I need to build. That's probably what's gonna go up there. For example, we could have D&D &D up there, 
and of the other uh, backlog that I have at home that I plan on probably bringing here tomorrow. So that's a good idea. Although hopefully one day there's no backlog. I, I don't want there to be a backlog. Uh, so I came up with this system of having the parts on the tables and then the Alex units and the uh, Lindman legs, sorry, the Adil's legs to support those tables and then the parts on top. The reason I wanted to do it this way is because eventually I want to have, well, I already have one actually, uh, some wheel tables like this. And this is where you actually do the building. And these tables can move along there and they're at the same height as the table that supports the parts. So then, for example, if I'm sorting here or if I'm working on a big project, I can move this table along and sort of go where I need to go with the table. And maybe there'll be like two or three tables like that. I also have the uh, sit-stand desk that I want to bring in here as well. It's like a bamboo sit-stand desk, so I'm going to pop that somewhere in here. And I'm not sure what to do in the center here. It seems like a lot of open space and I should probably do something in the center there. Although when we get the couch in here, it'll gobble up a bunch of room. But I probably shouldn't just put the couch like that. That's sort of weird. It'll, it'll definitely fill this space though. Maybe that'll look good. I can't wait to get that. Maybe I'll get that tomorrow too. Head over to Ikea, pick up a couch or head to some sort of couch store. But I do like my computer over here. I think that does make sense. It's funny though, I've got uh, this blue extension cord, which is just so ugly. I have a whole bunch of extension cords at home in the Lego room that are just like fed around the walls and stuff. So I didn't want to run out to the store and buy more three prong extension cords knowing that I have some at home. It's just a matter of bringing them over here. But I sort of like my computer there. I think that's cool. And then I've got like another little desk right here, whatever there can be a second computer set up or a swamping table for parts or whatever it may be. Yeah, there's just so much space up here. We could really do so many different things. Like <laughs> the options are unlimited, which I which I really really do like. And then uh, over here, uh, Jose she reorganized this stuff, and I think that looks really really good. I just turned on the water machine; it sat for 24 hours, so now I've got cold or hot water. So that's good. And then the fridge is currently getting cold right now too. The freezer is getting cold. Uh, so a bunch of people did mention that I can actually switch the direction of the door. I really didn't even have a look at it yesterday, and it's quite obvious that you can based on the location of these holes here and those bolts. So it's just a matter of swapping it up. But I don't really mind where it is now because we moved it over here anyway to sort of hide the ugliness of the microwave. So I guess the doors opening that way is all good. Look at all this space though, even like in here, like we can come over here, we can make our coffee, grab a nice themed mug. I got those white Yetis on the way too. We can make some toast and peanut butter or put some peanut butter on there, whatever it may be, right? Yeah, it's just a beauty. Just sort of making this place feel like home, which is super duper exciting if you ask me. And tomorrow I think it's gonna be sealed sets, maybe a couch and whatever else, because that U-Haul uh, is gonna get loaded up yet again. And I need to decide what I'm gonna do with this art. Am I gonna put nails in the wall or am I going to uh, use command strips again? Haven't quite decided yet, but that art's gonna go all up there. I don't think I'm gonna have enough art. <laughs> Speaking of art, I gotta get that uh, Batman Gotham City set built. That's at home, I'll bring that. And we can start building here again soon as well. Uh, hoping to do some more live streaming and stuff, so so make sure you stay tuned for that. And members, I I got to do that monthly live stream as well, and we'll uh, we'll start building some of these sets. So I've got all my boxes and packing material there. My end goal is to get that into this room, but I was actually going to put those black shelves in here originally, but now I want the black shelves up there. So what I might do is buy something to replace those ugly black shelves, depending on how they look with the sets on them, and then I can put them in that room. So once I get uh, the sealed sets and everything here and start moving all of like the bulk out of the Lego room, the next thing that I'm gonna move is actually all of the stuff that's on the Lego city tables. And what we're gonna do is actually put all of that stuff right down here, just on the, the mopped floor. So we put all the Lego city stuff in this room, in the center on the floor, and all the Lego city stuff in the center of this floor as well. And then hopefully we can fit all of those modules, like all the modular buildings, uh, the campground, the zoo, all that different stuff. And those tables will be completely empty. And then I can uh, bring a load of lumber and load it in here, 
by, so like take apart all the city tables, get all that lumber extracted, and then bring all the lumber here and start building the LIGO city tables, get these city tables built, and then very easily transfer all of that stuff that's on the floor onto the city tables, just sort of throw it on there in every random order, whatever it is, just get it up off the floor out of here, and then I can reuse this floor space and bring all the sets that are on the shelves like for display purposes and put them in the center of the floor in either room. And then the billy units will be empty. Then I can bring all the billy units in and brrr, put the billy units along the walls, sort of flank it on either side, and then take all this Lego that's on the floor and put it up on the billy units. I think that's gonna be the best process uh, just because my number one goal is to get that city or all the city modules off the city table so that I can get that wood extracted so that I can start building the tables and recycle or reuse all of that wood with the layout that I plan to construct. It's definitely a lot to digest. I'm glad that I have that truck for two weeks. And if I need it for a longer period of time, I can extend it, but I, I really don't think I'm gonna need it for a longer period of time. In fact, I think I'll only need it for maybe like 10 days and then I can always just bring it back and uh, get a little bit of a discount based on the price that I paid. It actually wasn't too bad. Two weeks for the truck for X amount of kilometers was uh, 660 Canadian dollars, which is like, ooh, that's quite a bit of money. It's like just under 50 bucks a day, but I think it's worth it because look at all the stuff we brought in here for 50 bucks. I wouldn't be able to do this in my car. I would spend more money in gas going back and forth in our vehicles so it just made sense to get the truck. Like we brought all that pretty much in one load. Like that's quite a bit of stuff. But there we go, everybody. Some great progress has been made here today. I'm really excited to continue tomorrow and throughout the next couple weeks. Thank you so much for coming on by. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And farewell.